Hey everyone, in this session we will talk about how we can create a new Power BI workspace using Windows PowerShell. So now let's get started. First of all, let's connect our Power BI service account with the PowerShell. For that, we will type a command connect Power BI service account. Hit and enter. Log in with your service account. To create a new Power BI workspace, we need to use a command new dash Power BI workspace dash name and then we need to provide the name of the workspace. So let's say I am providing the name of workspace as test workspace with PowerShell. Hit and enter. So you can see here your workspace has been created successfully. Now let's open the Power BI service account and check whether we are able to see the workspace or not. So let me just quickly open my Power BI. So you can see here in all the workspace, the workspace that we have created is test workspace with PowerShell. So you can see here my workspace has been created successfully. Alright, now let's add some description using the PowerShell for the created workspace. For that, we need to use a command set Power BI workspace. Then dash scope organization because I want to achieve this functionality by admin user. It's my service account user. Now uh, if you don't have the admin right over workspace even though as a service account you can make this PowerShell to be work. Now if you don't write this scope organization and if you don't have admin access on your Power BI workspace you are not able to execute this code. You need to provide the ID of the workspace. So this is the ID that we just copied in the above step and after that we can update the name so let's say for an example uh, uh, my workspace name was taste power workspace with powershell so let's rename as taste ds workspace and let's add some description over here taste workspace for powershell added some description and now hit and enter but before we proceed let me just show you the entire code so basically the command is set power bi workspace scope id then the new name of the workspace that we wish to update then description that we wish to add over here just hit and enter so you can see here, it will just prompt a warning that only preview workspace are supported when scope organization is specified. So it's just a warning. You can ignore that. And now let's go to the service account. Let me hit refresh. And you can see here the workspace name has been renamed successfully. That is taste DS workspace. And now let's check its description. So you can see here the description has been added over here successfully. This is how we can easily create a new Power BI workspace using PowerShell as well as we can easily rename the created workspace and add some description in our workspace. So hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this topic, you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467. If you are for the first time to my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you, are, uh, if you wish to receive the daily notification on your channel, just click on this form, fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye